Alrighty, folks, we'll just start our, we're gonna start our walk about here. I'm gonna kind of break it up, but I'm out here getting the deck cleared of snow. And got a couple new things happened here. First, you're gonna notice a handrail on my deck. That was not my idea. But my insurance company wanted pictures and they saw the deck and they said, ah, no handrail. And so they wrote me, no handrail, no insurance. So I tried to beg off till next year and they said no, cause I'm gonna do a different thing what I got here. So even though I have a sawmill folks, I didn't have the ability to get the two by fours cut that quick. I had uh, one day before the snow hit and uh, so I went into Delta and with that, this railing you're looking here is about $300 worth of two by fours. Now had they given me a little bit of warning, uh, I could have done this in August or September. Uh, I would have had nothing in it but probably four or five hours. The next little addition I have is I've got this Ego Snowblower from Lowe's. And uh, before you're going to say I'm being extravagant, I want to explain something. The, I, you get a system. My blower for the sawmill and my battery powered chainsaw for the sawmill are Ego brand. And they use the same battery as what this snowblower does. And I originally went shopping for a battery, for so I had an extra battery. For, I had a battery in both of them and an extra on the charger. Well, the cost of the batteries was $50 more than the cost of this snowblower with the batteries. So, uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out you're going to get the snowblower. Actually, it's not uncommon, folks, because what the tool manufacturers like to do is I'll uh, give you the tool for nothing and uh, or next to nothing with a couple batteries or a battery in it then they've got you hooked for life on their batteries which is exactly what happened here yes I knew that was coming down the pike but it doesn't matter what brand you go with it's the same thing I did not want gas because they're too big and cumbersome and I'm getting to the age I'm getting tired of pulling on stuff to start it so Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is just the deck. After a while, I'll take you out. I'm going to go get warmed up. It's about two below zero now. And we got winds, if you can hear. Uh, there's the sawmill. We'll go out there and we'll, we'll go out, clear out. You can see the snow pile, but that's all wood underneath there. So I'll bring you back in a little while, ladies and gentlemen. All righty, folks. We'll do a yard walk this morning. Today is Monday, October 7th, and uh, just kind of take you around and see what I got accomplished this summer, or maybe better yet, what I didn't get accomplished, but uh, take a look. About two below zero right now, so not too bad, but we got 30 mile an hour winds. I'll shut up, you can hear the wind, I would imagine. Okay. Last, su last winter, you remember I had a pile of snow here about to the roof. And I have since got that hole all filled in and I got this side sided. I still have boards to put up on top and I got to do uh, the styles on there but we'll get we'll get that next spring so we got that done we got all this cleaned out got this kind of leveled out so it's easier to walk in around got some stuff hanging there I don't know if you can see it or not Keep in mind my lens is broke, I gotta get a new one. And then I started siding the back wall. I had a friend of mine that I sawed some uh, trees up that he'd sawed down, so 
That took me a little bit, not long, but it, it took me probably, because I'm an old man, probably a week. And so this is the other end. Last winter that was just a black tarp that was up there. And uh, here I got a post in the middle. That'll help me hang on. Uh, I can hope probably support three or four feet of snow on there if it doesn't rain. And uh, here you can see this side. I've got it all kind of manicured up. Okay. What I do here remains to be seen. I don't know if I'll put a building out over this. Maybe like a little shop or something like that. And so, got the yard pretty well plowed right now. There's where I store the tractor, of course. And uh, got the snow plow off the pickup. And the motorhome is in the shop because I hit it with the snow plow. So, golly gosh, ladies and gentlemen, that crack I put in it was about that long and about $10,000 damage. Thank goodness for insurance. Okay, here's my fuel shed that y'all seen me talking about a lot. And uh, it's working out pretty good. You can see no snow on the fuel barrel and kind of dry. Got some sawmill stuff back there, log splitter. Uh, this spring I hope to get a maybe like a 300 gallon tank kind of what's on the house for diesel if you can buy diesel fuel got my trailer stored right here so it'll be easier to get to this spring <laughs> this is deceptive it looks like the snow is up but there's about a four foot pile of gravel underneath there this is my next load of firewood that I got for uh, that'll probably suit me for probably four or five years and uh, also I'm going to use some of that for posts I'll have to peel them okay that snow pile right there is a real snow pile this one here is completely full of lumber on the back side this is all my fall off from the sawmill and uh, so if you wonder what I was doing all summer, gosh, you were going to do this. I'll get you around here and you can see how much lumber there actually is there. That's all fall off and I need to build a rack so I can saw that into firewood. But uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I was doing quite a bit of sawing this, this summer, a lot more than what a guy thinks. And now, I'll kind of take you out here. We'll go out where the wind's blowing. This is my driveway, of course. It's about, oh, not long, 250 feet maybe. I don't know if it's that long, I don't remember. But the problem I have out here on my driveway is if I leave the snow, if I just plow through, it drifts my driveway shut. And, uh, so the last couple years, I got the tractor going, and I move stuff back. And when I say back, I mean I move it back. And so, you can kind of take a look at the ditch there, and then I come around to this side, and I do the same thing. I push all that stuff back. I hope the ditch is across the road so in the spring we can get it uh, broke out a little bit. Yeah, the wind's cold.
I'll let you listen to the wind for a little bit. There's the greenhouse. I got a tarp over it this year and uh, pulling the snow. Snow I can get a little rough with the tarp and it seems to slide right off there just fine. However the plastic that's on there that's just your regular plastic from Home Depot and I knew it wouldn't last because it's not greenhouse plastic and it is rotten as a a rotten egg. Wherever these bows are, it just flakes off. And so, probably, uh, I just, just over the weekend, I found a source for greenhouse plastic. I don't know if I can get this open or not, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. There, I don't know if you, yeah, there you can see in there. See kind of what I did. And it's down there on the two by six, so we're doing good, we got it. So if that'll hold like that until next spring. Uh, sorry for the blindness there. Then I'll have it made. Here's another load of firewood that a different uh, guy brought me. However, most of these logs are nice size diameter. Look at that one up there on top. And uh, I'm using those for saw logs. And uh, now to give you an idea on price, folks, that little stack right there was uh, $1,500, I believe it was. And then... That big stack over there was $1,400. And it's quite a bit longer than this stack, probably twice the length. So that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at, ladies and gentlemen. I got a pile there I got to burn. I got a half drum of barrel uh, cut off and uh, Fuel prices come down when I get water through, I'll mix some gas and diesel up and then put it underneath that or throw it over and I'll get it burning. And so, and then to give you an idea, the fuel tank I want to get for the fuel shed, this tank right here at the house, that's a 300 gallon tank. And that's what I want to get. And I can get, I got to get it on track, I get that in fair banks. I can get, uh, the tank's no problem. It's the pump and then filling the tank that's the issue. Because the last time I was in town, I think we were like five sixty a gallon for diesel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming to a close here. Back here, that's going to be the garden next year, and then where the machinery's at over there. That's gonna, if I can do it right, it's gonna be a 40 by 20 foot greenhouse. And that'll probably be stick frame, I'll do that with hard plastic. So I'll get up there, you can kind of see the trees are moving. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna shut her down and get in where it's warm. Y'all have a good day.